So these are three patterns that should be really useful to you, regardless of where you're at in your harping journey, but they will be doable for you if you're just starting out and you're just starting to think about chords and song accompaniment. What I mean by patterns are a group of chords played in a specific way rhythmically, so what's important to remember is that you can take these patterns and use them in whatever key you want to play in and for pretty much whatever chord you want to play within that key, so they're essentially templates. Um, so I'm going to show you these patterns in the key of C, but you could equally use them in the key of G or D or A, whichever. So I'm going to show you three patterns, one in 3-4 time and two in 4-4 time, and we're going to work in the key of C to keep things simple, so let's get started. So pattern number one sounds like this. It's using what we call triad chords. Triads are your go-to chord shape and use three fingers, three, two, and one. And they're always shaped like note, skip a note, note, skip a note, note. They're always this kind of shape. So this is a C triad, notes C, E, G with fingers three, two, one. Um, and if I move up the scale in this shape, I'll get more triad chords. So this is C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, B diminished, and C. And the specific triad chords we're looking at in this pattern are A minor, notes A, C, and E, um, C, notes C, E, and G, F, notes F, A, and C, and D minor, notes D, F, and A. Um, so here it is again. Just playing from the bottom to the top with fingers 3, 2, and 1. Now, if this sounds a bit simple to you and you want to spice things up a bit, you could experiment with moving the second finger in the chord up or down a step and seeing how that changes things harmonically. So I'll try first moving it down a step, um, playing those same chords just with the, the second finger moved down one step and see how that seems. What if we move the second finger up a step? So something I like to do um, often is to keep the left hand as the basic triad, so the note, skip a note, note, skip a note, note shape and change the second finger up or down a step in the right hand and what this does is kind of anchor the chord a little bit more so let's see how that sounds so that's something simple but effective that you could try Pattern number two is in 4-4 four, four time, and it's actually quite similar to pattern number one. We're going to do the same chords again, A minor to C to F to D minor, but instead of doing triads in both hands, we're going to remove that second finger. So now it's just using fingers three and one. So we've got notes A to E, C to G, F to C, and D to A. So that second finger is just tucked in between them. Um, so these are called fifths because it's an interval of five notes, one, two, three, four, five. So that's a C fifth. Um, and if I move up the scale in this interval, I'll get a bunch of other fifths. So let's hear what this new pattern sounds like. A and E playing from bottom to the top. C, G, F, C. to whatever chords you want to play. So say you want to play the chords C, D minor, E minor, F, that'll sound like this. We're just playing from the bottom to the top using fifths with fingers three and one. But back to the pattern we're using today, which is A minor to C to F to D minor. You could 
replaced some of the left hand fifths with octaves. So octaves are an interval of eight notes. They're always eight notes apart, so it would be like a low A to a high A. And you either play that with fingers four and one, or three and one, um, or a low C to a high C, low F to high F, etc. So we're replacing that A um, fifth in the left hand with an octave and keeping the right hand as a fifth and playing from the bottom to the top. So that would sound like. Now the next one, we're changing um, the C and the G in the left hand to a C octave, keeping the right hand the same as before. Then next one, F octave, um, low F, high F down here with fingers four and one, and F fifth in the right hand. And then last chord, D octave in the left hand, D and A in the right hand. So let's put those together. You can either keep things basic, doing fifths in both hands, or vary things a bit with the octaves. So pattern number three is in 4-4 four, four time, and we're playing the same chords, A minor to C to F to D minor. Um, and in the last patterns we were using two fingers in each hand, but this time we're going to be using four fingers, so it's a little bit more tricky. Um, and it sounds like this. sounding chords and um, they're mostly major seven chords but we don't need to get into the theory of it today so the first chord i'm doing is a c e g with fingers four three two one <clears throat> i'm doing that in both hands and playing from the bottom to the top the next chord is c e g b in both hands with fingers four three two one next one is f a c e both hands I can count it on going one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And again, if you take this shape, this major seven shape, um, and start at the bottom of the C scale, so C, E, G, B you move up the scale, you'll get more of these kinds of chords. So like the other patterns, you can apply this pattern to whatever key you're playing in and for pretty much whatever chord. So say now I want to play in the key of G, so I'm going to raise my F levers and the chords I want to play are G, E minor, B minor, C. That's now going to sound like this, using these shapes of chords and um, moving from the bottom to the top of the shape. But back to the, the key we're using today, which is C, and back to our chord progression, which is A minor, C, F, D minor. So that's it. I really hope that was useful for you. And if you're interested, I also have an ebook you can download called Three Tips to Bringing Your Harping to the Next Level. And in that guide, I go into the three key things that really helped me to grow as a harper. So it's really going to help you to become a more creative and versatile player. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Thanks again, Erica. We'll see you soon. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Back to you in the state.